Hi folks, welcome back. I just want to explain to you what I mean by a rounded blade. Okay? Let's see. This one here is perfectly flat and it's and it has um, it has a real high sheen to it. That's what you want to try to you know try to get. But what I want to show you on this one is I want to see if you can see what I see here. And I'm trying to do as much detail here as I can. This is the part that I'm talking about that that sometimes becomes rounded. Either you're turning your your knife when you're sharpening it on a stone or or on the disc. You want to keep that thing perfectly flat. I didn't do that with this one. So this is a perfect example of that roundedness that I'm talking to at the point that we talked about here. You know, that edge, if you're looking at it from the very end, uh, you know, from the end of the point, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing this rounded edge, and that's what I'm talking about right here. Okay? So what you need to do is grind that portion off, not the edge at all, not the sharp edge, but in here. And that's the part you want to try to get either uh, as a curvature or as completely flat, like I showed you on these uh, photos before. Um, and if I flip this over to the other side, let's see if I can get a picture of it. You see, I have a bevel there, but it's slightly rounded. And that will not cut, folks. I'm telling you, it, it will, but it's going to be, and I'm going to demonstrate on this one. You see how it, it just rolls off? That's what happens when it's rounded. When it's not rounded, it goes in deeper. See? It control, you can control it more. When it's rounded, it just kind of rolls off. That's what I'm explaining to uh, you folks. You have to get rid of that in order to have a good knife. The other important ingredient, of course, is the Rockwell hardness of your, of your, your um, steel. Um, you, if you're going to use stainless steel like I have here, it better be at least a 440 or higher, okay, or a very good stainless steel uh, for it to hold an edge. This here, if you don't get rid of that ridge, you're going to constantly have problems trying to carve anything. And see, it, it kind of rolls. It kind of rolls off, and that's the big difference on these. Let me see if I can get another knife to demonstrate what it's like to have a real nice flat one. Now, here's one I reground yesterday. See how flat that plane is, right here. See how flat? And I did that on the disc that I showed you the other day. Okay, or on the other video. And that this is very, very flat. You don't see anything. Um, you don't see that curvature or that little bulge there, and you know. And if you don't have that, you know, you'll you'll end up cutting much easier because it won't roll off your uh, off your carving. It, this takes some practice to do, folks. It's not something you learn overnight. I've done a lot of my own knives. I buy a lot of po pocket knives. You can see this one was already ground down and I didn't do it correctly. So I'm going to redo that one like I did this one. Take it to my um, my disc and start working on it and grinding it down. That disc that I showed you, this here, does have some play in it. You know, if you if you put your knife on there you know, try to do it gently and let the wheel do the work. This is a stick-on, too. I just wanted to let you know how that's on there. And you can buy them at any local uh, store or any hardware store. And uh, I have a couple of these, um, like I said. But I just wanted to explain that it's a sticky uh, material on there. And then you tear this one off and put another new one on when you're ready. You want this surface on the bottom not to be spongy, okay? Uh, the harder it is, the better it would be, okay, because then it doesn't have that flexibility, and you can put that knife on there and and grind that off. So when I go back here, I'm really going to try to grind off that rounded edge that you see here, and I'm going to lay that on here, and not the blade portion, but the, the whole blade itself to get rid of that little bulge on there. So when you start turning it, you'll notice this portion will be starting to um, to grind away. It's not going to be near your blade because this is in the way. When 
this is the stuff you're trying to, trying to get rid of. Okay, if I had more room here, I'd demonstrate that for you. But I hope that explains it if you're having a problem learning how to sharpen your knives. And again, it's a progression. You go from a, a, a little heavier grit, this is a medium, then you go to a fine grit, and you can even, um, you know, if you can find a metal uh, grit uh, surface, uh, go ahead and uh, buy that. If you can buy them in the round one, metal would probably be better. This is just what you would use for wood. Um, you know, and buy yourself a nice little drill that you can take it with you anywhere. And uh, I hope this explains uh, some of the problems with sharpening. Okay, thanks a lot for joining me, and we'll start on another project soon, folks. Thanks again. Bye-bye.